I think mind uploading is a very important science and technology of the future. But today, I think it's very important to start paying attention to what is actually happening rather than to be too focused on the future of uploading. Natasha Vita Moore is an author, strategic designer and scientist working in the fields of human enhancement technology and life extension. Immortality, no, limited lifespan, yes, redefining death, we've been doing that for eons. My goal in life is to try to do my best to help change the way we think about life and death. It's, it's really fascinating. I think this has been the most incredible part about exploring transhumanism and doing your course and reading books and speaking to people is I, I just love the fact that it is about this flexible thinking. It is about we don't have to accept things the way they are. We can think and design the future. We can think and design our bodies. We know from history that even our, our greatest hopes and dreams go through consequences. And even if we were to arrive at that, we will still go through many risks, many downturns, many unintended consequences that will throw us off and we'll have to get back in the mindset again. I don't know any transhumanist who has ever said, let's create an elite society of people and force everyone to upload or enhance themselves. We're not a cult, we're a philosophy and a worldview and we're futurists who are really looking at the issues. Other misconception is that we don't think about the future, that we, we are Pollyanna, just see the future as rose-colored and everyone's gonna live forever and be immortal and happy and blissful. Sure, that's a beautiful scenario, but is it pragmatic? So you wrote the Transhumanism Manifesto. Tell us about this, what is transhumanism? Transhumanism is 